Barring a few minor hiccups, the Ministry of Education is poised for a very smooth and successful reopening of school. We would have rolled out our summer works program where the Ministry would have spent um, in excess of $3 million to rehabilitate the school plant across the country. Um, as much as possible, we tried to provide students and teachers with as comfortable an environment in which to operate. And it is for this reason we spent no effort to ensure that we went into every single school plant, um, looked at the issues, and we were able to work very closely with principals and school administrators to ensure that we tackled the more critical issues that confronted them. Um, as far as that is concerned, um, we are approximately 98% complete. In keeping with the One Laptop Per Child program, um, we have prepared in excess of 4,000 devices for distribution in the school system. The incoming Form 1s will be receiving Chromebooks. Um, the Form 2s will also be receiving Chromebooks. And in select cases, the food formers will also be receiving devices because some schools took the decision last term not to, to issue the children with the devices prior to the commencement of the summer vacation. Um, the government has spent a lot of money. We are pretty big on incorporating ICT in education and it is for this reason we will give all the impetus that is needed to ensure that the One Laptop Per Child program becomes a success. This is nicely complemented by the installation of Smart Classroom at select secondary and primary schools. Um, the government has understood, and more specifically the Ministry of Education, we've understood that incorporating technology in lesson delivery is an imperative in the year 2022 and beyond. And it is for this reason we are committed to going all out, mobilize the resources to ensure that we equip our children with the devices and the tools that they need along with their teachers um, to make the education system and the education product that we deliver um, comparable to, to what obtains in more developed countries um, and observing best practice as much as possible. One of the key policy initiatives for our government is to have one university graduate per household. And we've gone about this very diligently. In the coming weeks, we are making available to students wanting to pursue higher education in excess of 100 university scholarships. And this is going to be nicely complemented by approximately 150 bursaries um, for students wishing to pursue studies at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. Even at a lower level, the government continues to make resources available in excess of $2 million to pay facilities fees for primary and secondary school students in the public school system. So we have placed a premium on education, but we've also understood that quality education calls for a lot of resources, resources that parents ordinarily would not have at the disposal. And it is for this reason the Minister of Finance and Prime Minister has ensured that the Ministry of Education has access to the national budget to deliver on some of the initiatives that I would have mentioned previously. So all in all, we are poised for a very smooth and successful reopening. I mean, there has never been a better time to be a Form 1 student in St. Lucia. Upon completion of the CPE exam, a Form 1 child goes into a secondary school having received a $500 bursary. A Form 1 child would receive a receipt where facilities fees would have been paid for him or her. And a Form 1 child is also greeted um, in the secondary school system with a brand new state-issued um, device. So they are, these are exciting times for education. Um, we have to implore the parents to play their part. I know the teachers have always gone beyond the call of duty to ensure that they deliver the best possible education they can to our students in the circumstances. So I want to profit the opportunity to implore parents, to call on parents, to support the teachers, support school administrators, and support your children at home. In order for education to be a success in this country, every stakeholder must play his or her part, and it is against that backdrop. I'm calling on parents and all our stakeholders to continue to work closely with the Ministry of Education to ensure that we create that enabling environment where our children can reach their potential in school, um, get the training that they need and with a view to them becoming productive citizens at the end of that educational journey.